I'm in Fort Bridger, Wyoming to have dinner with a family of conservative Republicans. They're devout Mormons and they're here at their 30,000 acre cattle ranch, which has been in their family for generations. We're gonna get to the bottom of their views on Trump, then maybe I'll pet some cows, milk a teeth, who knows? Oh my gosh! Hi everybody! I brought gifts. I am Sarah. My hosts are the Michael Eyes. There's Matt and Ashby. Oh Matt is a former chairman of the Wyoming Republican Party who's now a partner at law. I break for nuanced political discourse with Hollywood liberals. <laughs> <laughs> then there's Ashby. Ashby trains horses. She's a tough nut to crack, but I love a challenge. Matt's brother, Frank, works at a big oil company as a drill engineer, so in other words, he does fracking. He's married to Michelle. The couples have three kids each who are about to see some real Silverman classics. Here, you'll be gentle. Oh! You're too strong. Okay, will you be gentle this time? Okay. Oh, you're still too strong. Come here, so I can trust the girls. I'm a princess, but I dress regular so people don't treat me differently. <laughs> Keep it kind of between us, okay? Okay. Break. Hey, what'd she say? Can I ask questions about being Mormon only because I don't really know besides seeing the musical? Well, that's a documentary, right? By, so. Right, that's a documentary written by Mormons. <laughs> I, I know that at 19, you do your mission. I went to Chile, <gasps> southern Chile. I've always wanted to go to Chile. It's, it's wonderful. I went to Moscow, Russia. Really? So, Did you know anything about it? No, I mean, I grew up here, right, in this oh. town of 150 people. How'd you not drink vodka? Isn't that illegal? <laughs> Every place we went tried to get us to drink vodka. Wow, yeah, that's like their vitamin C there. Yes. <laughs> Where did Ashby go? To Florida. Orlando. That's from the place, sorry. Yeah. Girls do what they want. And guys have to go. Yeah. What is not being said? <laughs> you're, I, I feel like you're trying know. to communicate to me with your eyes. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> tell me about Wyoming and living here and your life here. Um, I do horses, training horses, ride horses. We just had our county fair. That's so cool. What I do, I'm a petroleum engineer, which is, you've heard of fracking? Yes, all I know of what fracking is, is you like push liquid in incredible pressure into like subterranean rocks and then that pressure forces uh, like gas and oil to come in through like fissures in the rock or something and then you gather it? Is that even close? <laughs> it's not bad. Yeah, I read on the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually safe and clean, but if there is a leak, it could ruin groundwater and water is how we all stay alive. Every energy source has risk. Well, wind and solar does. How many how many birds do you think die from those? And we support wind too, but <laughs> you guys shoot birds. I know. Let's not be disingenuous here. <laughs> You're a lawyer for the environment, right? Right. But are you a good witch or a bad witch? I've been a lawyer for 16 years. I've never had any client want to do anything other than what's best for the environment and what's best for, for the the company. I've never had, I've never even had Best for what company? Well, what's, what's best for the country is what I mean to say. Oh. The best for the... Ah, that is a Freudian, Freudian. that no, is a slip that has so much truth <laughs> no, in it. But, I mean, for a country that very much is a slave to oil. We need oil for our way of life. That's just a fact. We need fracking. Until we figure out Until another we need, option. Right now, today, we can't stop. I probably should have challenged him more, but I was so hungry. What store do you buy a bowl that big? <laughs> That's one good thing about being a Mormon is you get everything in bulk because you're that one kid, you know? I forgot to have children. <laughs> You'll be my child. Okay. <laughs> Can we get real? I mean, like we were in the kitchen. I'm not getting realer. How are you feeling about Trump? Do you all agree about your feelings about Trump, about the administration now, about... So, I'm not a big fan of the antics or personality, the Fire. tweets <laughs> and that, that aspect. I, I'm not a we'll fan We'll all of that. agree with that. No, the only thing that, like, I always get offended of is when they ask me how I feel as a woman. Like, why did I not vote for Hillary as a woman? I got that pressure, too, as someone who loved Bernie. As an American, why I didn't vote for her is different policies, you know? Right. Liberals don't understand. I don't care about Russia collusion. You don't conspiracy care about theories. The like conspiracy I don't care about the email server. Those right. aren't important 
critical issues to me. But a foreign government has meddled in the American election. That's not the deciding factor for who I vote for. It's, it's philosophy. I think liberals believe you give money to the government and they'll do good with it. Conservatives believe there's things that the government has to do, but on the whole, government's going to be really inefficient with that money. They're going to waste it. And there are better ways, there's better things that that money could be doing. What, are you guys members of the NRA? Oh, none of us are. I know that you like guns for pleasure or whatever, but what are your feelings on, like, gun regulation of any kind? I don't think gun restrictions help because there's so many guns in our country that, like, if you're a criminal, you're not going to say, oh, there's a law that says I can't have a gun. I would say, like, why do we have guns of war that are available for citizens, like AR-15s? But then so other people have said, yeah, we hunt with AR-15s. And I'm like, do you fish with dynamite? Because that doesn't sound like a sport at all. I talk a lot about gun regulations and, and the damage of guns. But the truth is, when I'm watching Walking Dead, I'm like, get the guns! <laughs> There's studies that show when the zombie apocalypse comes, Wyoming's the best place to be. Of course it is. It's got to be, right? First of all, they have tons of cattle to eat at first. The cattle aren't going to become zombies unless that's a whole new genre, which I just thought of, and I'm copywriting it right now. For us, guns are recreational tool to just have fun, I guess. You know, go hunting. Call of guns are so great. Why don't you show me how to shoot one? Let's go right now. All right, let's do it. Clear my plate. Yeah. <laughs> I'm obviously not a big gun lady, but in the spirit of adventure, I let the Michael Eyes take me out for a shooting lesson. I really don't get the appeal, but I'll give it a try. I feel alive! All right, what do you want me to get, the apple? Let's carrot. go for the apple on top of the can. <laughs> Ooh, you got it. <laughs> oh my god, that was terrifying. <laughs> Smells like freedom. <laughs> In a time where there's not a lot of consideration for nuance, I find it really hard to categorize the Michael eyes. Do I think that they're possibly ignoring some inconvenient truths? Yeah, I do. Did I try to take them to task? I did. Did they take me to task? They did. Did I enjoy firing that gun? Yes. I mean, don't tell anybody. I don't think we changed each other's minds. We both are pretty solid in our beliefs. She's really genuine, and she's more than just a comedian, more than just a Democrat, but a person with different viewpoints. She's super kind. I broke you. <laughs> we learned a lot of things today. Different people from different backgrounds come together, a stimulating conversation. And... Bye, thank you so much. Make America great!